All right, I guess it's time to let you in on what this project is all about. And what it is is a banner for the Patriot Fireworks Company. And as you can see, we got George here, father of our country, representing the word Patriot very well. But we have nothing to represent the word fireworks, which I haven't added yet, but will be shortly. But first, before we do that, let's find some clip art to represent the fireworks portion of this banner. And we do so once again in Microsoft PowerPoint. And I've already found it. I just searched for the word fireworks and I found this WMF file. I'm going to copy it and go back into Illustrator and I'm going to paste it on its own layer. Expand the layers palette here. And let's see. I want it to go between the background layer and the George layer. So with the background layer highlighted, I'm going to click on the Create New Layer button, and it'll create a layer right there. Now I'm going to hit Control-V on my keyboard, and it pastes it right in there. I'm going to hit Tab twice to reset my palettes. And I don't see it. It should be selected. And let me hit Control-H and see if that brings it up. It does. I had my selection outlines hidden is why. Let me hit the E key on my keyboard to get the transform function, and I'm going to hold down the Alt and Shift key and drag, and then I will be scaling it from the center. And that looks good right there. Next thing I want to do is move this over to the edge of the banner. And now let me hide the selection outline by hitting Control H. Now let me turn off some layers here to make it easy to work on. I'm just going to solo this layer right now. And I do so. To solo a layer, I can't have this one deselected. I'm going to turn that on. And then when I hit Alt click, I can solo that layer. All right, if I, if I had this one off when I did that, it would have first turned that on. So that's why I, that's why I did that that way. Now what do I want to do? What I want to do now is right click on here and I want to go to Transform, Reflect, and I want to reflect it once again vertically, 90 degrees, but instead of hitting OK this time, I'm going to hit Copy. So while it reflects it, it's going to make a copy of that object, and you see it did that right here. Now what I'm going to do is move it over. I'm going to zoom in now. It's still selected. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and start using the left arrow key on my keypad until I get them lined up like that. Just with a, just the slightest bit of overlap. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to uh, I want these gradients here to match. And the only real way to do it is to copy it and reflect it. But it kind of makes it obvious now that it's a copy of this. So I'm going to get my group selection tool and get rid of some of the elements of this group. Hit Control H so I can see what I'm selecting. And all I'm going to do is select parts of the group and hit the delete key until I get it looking the way I want. That's the beauty of the group selection tool. You could try using the lasso, lasso tool and uh, marqueeing around points, but then you always select some points that you didn't mean to select. And I find it easier just to use the group selection tool, click on things, and hit the delete key. Now this is going to help it look a little bit more organic, like it uh, was not copied and reflected. Not organic, that's a bad word for this. Okay, that looks better. You can still tell, but you won't, when I finish with it, you won't really be able to tell because uh, it'll be blended in with all the other layers. So I'm satisfied with that. Let me now bring back the other layers and to do that I'm just going to alt click on this eyeball right here that's going to unsolo it and now I can go go to work on some of the other layers and use some more blend modes to create the final product and we'll do so you guessed it after these commercial words <laughs> 